Try not to poke a hole in my couch with that knife, please. <laughs> hey, everybody. I got my first BJD today from Junkie Spot. My fiance, Justin, is helping me make this video. He's the camera person right now, so if you hear random giggling, that's him. Stop hating. <laughs> but I got a Bobobi Apollo mold, and from this point on, he will now be known as Lee. And I love their shipping labels. If you've ever read it, it's really cute. And their fractal label. Careful with it. I'm surprised you didn't attack the UPS guy when he dropped it off. You actually have more willpower than I thought you did. I'm surprised you didn't nag me for the last hour to open it. Hmm. Did you sign that in my place? Nope. Signed my name. Mm -hmm. He even asked for last name. I said dial. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Whatever. So you're telling me he relinquished a package to you and it wasn't me? Mm-hmm. Oh. I know. These people are great, aren't they? It's nice to know. Oh, God. I probably sound horrible on camera. Actually, I can guarantee I do. I hate how I sound. No one likes how they Okay, happen. you see those packing peanuts? Yeah. You get those in the house, I'm going to have to hurt you. I'll pick them up. I hate those things with a passion. I know, I'll pick them up. Oh, I know you will. Okay, mm. uh, I'm just wondering if this is going to be the purple or the blue box. Oop, blue box. Yay. <laughs> Inside thought. <laughs> okay. A bunch of packing pants are just gonna fly everywhere. Hmm. Joy. Okay, this box is like overstuffed. Yeah, that means I got goodies. Junkie Spot must have sent me some goodies. Damn, this is heavy. I'm engaged. To a child. Or a grown man who still says goodies. Oh, whatever. I actually think of that Sierra song. My goodies. <laughs> Anyway, at the la at the risk of you losing viewers, I won't reincite that song. <laughs> oh, if I'm gonna lose viewers, doubts over that. Ha! <laughs> Random packing. Pe oh, lovely! There's packing peanuts on the inside of the box too. I'm probably gonna regret this, but my what a big package you have! <laughs> oh, uh, that's my fiance. You knew that was funny. You're worse than me, anyway. You do know the ladies from the dog club meeting watches. I don't care. I'm always polite when they see me. We're teenagers. But, well, we're young adults. In our 20s. I'm young. He's not. He's an old man. Looks like a hippie, doesn't he? Hey. That's true. It just took you that long to catch that? Remember where you put that knife. I don't want you ruining anything. Okay. Well, here he is. I was hoping I was going to get to take him out. How you know the it's the bag. head? How you know it's the head? Could be his feet. Okay, we got a bubble wrap. Oh wow, there. it's a yeah, it's a it's a sarcophagus. Stop looking for candy. <laughs> you didn't buy a two hundred dollar candy for a twenty five cent piece of candy. Or, wait, no, a two hundred dollar doll for a twenty cent piece of candy. <laughs> if there is any candy, I get it. Okay. Oops, I got a message. Okay. Now, my friend Josh also has an Apollo. He got his before me, because he lives in California, which is way closer than South Carolina. Yeah, it's called East Coast and West Coast. <laughs> a wee bit of difference there. I am going to post a... Please be careful with that knife. A link to Junkie Spot on this video. Me. So everyone else can go check them out. Because they are awesome. And, ah, I can see his face. Oh, that's... Hmm. I have never actually felt a resin doll before. And this is awesome. I'm good. Wow, those eyes are beautiful. They're like a gold. Now why do you want to change them out with the purple ones? 
Well, because I'm getting a size 16. You're getting a lot of extras. Which is bigger, and they will fit in his face a little better. And I like the color purple. Plain and simple. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and say now to the ladies that in my dog club meeting who will be watching this, I am sorry for the doll nudity. Really? I am a horrible Honey. parent. Honey, they've raised children and their children have children. I think they can understand a little bit of doll nudity. Unfortunately, his clothes will not be here until later, so he is going to have to go naked for maybe a week or two. I love that accent. Naked. Not naked, but naked. Quit he, making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. I'm serious. Make fun of me. Don't feel bad about the nudity. That doll has about $300 worth of clothing, clothing coming. Okay. The doll is wearing more expensive clothes than I am. Need some sun. He's in the normal <coughs> skin tone. Um, wow. Yeah, it's like... His feet are huge. You should oh. talk. Boy, I got small feet. Uh, he has some... So that's what resin is. I mean, I have resin auto parts on my cars, but... Okay, I've learned one thing. Do not touch the face. Mm-hmm. Actually, he's pretty well strong. He's not really tight. Well, he's I didn't really I didn't think that if you bought a 200 something dollar doll, honey, that they would make you work on it. Oh, hold on, his arms. He seems pretty animatronic though. His arms need tightening. Mm. You have a few you have a few loose screws too, you know. <laughs> Don't we all? No, not me. Therapy is just so expensive. That joke was so bad. Really? Actually, I could boil his hands and make them soft, and I could make. <laughs> Let's not boil anything on your um, two hundred plus dollar okay. doll, babe. As far as nudity goes, you can at least pose one arm to cover him up a little. <sighs> I'm, so I'm sorry I spoke. <laughs> Okay. See, when I order car parts, I don't have to worry about that. That's a little better. But um, he's got a single jointed arm. Your doll is eyeballing me. Double jointed knees. What type of string? Um, elastic. Just. I'm just trying to figure out how you can pose them because the the legs go back to where they were. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but how can you keep them where they're supposed to be? It says they go back to where they are. Uh huh. Okay, so you can sit him on his legs, which I can't do. What, I, what I'm saying is I don't get how you can keep him to stand poses like if you had him backed up against a wall with one leg on the wall. What keeps it there? Well, it just depends on how loose it is. That and plus, suading will help it. His head's a little loose up top. The dome cap. Oh. Suading will help him... Um, oh, that's not creepy at all. Will help him keep his poses better. But yeah, this is how... Oh, this is how I'm going to be taking his eyes and stuff out. And replacing and, and tightening him. To the ladies and Dal and Stevens doll group, I'm not being rude. I'm just I'm being fairly well maintained, as seeing as he just took off his human replica doll's head. Cap. I think I'm head cap. I'm sorry. He peeled his muffin cap back. You might want to edit out that ghetto, edit out that ghetto phrase. But this is the default face up, which I might want to change at some point in time because he's going to have white hair but yet he has kind of like brunettish eyebrows which actually is natural for the eyebrows to be darker than your hair but anyways says you um wow he I, I knew how big he was going to be but i'm still like amazed <coughs> and justin's over there laughing at that oh he is very tightly strong But, um, wow. What's with the hands? Great. What? They're not really posed any particular way. Well, you can buy different hands for No, them. what I'm saying is they're, like, his right hand looks like it's holding a newspaper or something. It's right. They do random hands. I mean, you can pose them differently if you do certain things, or you can buy different hands. Or you can buy jointed hands, which I would actually like to get a pair of jointed hands. Uh-huh. That would be awesome. Let's wait for those $300 in clothes to come in. Till we start a new project. 
But yeah, um... That's one thing, I, everything seems very well-rounded except for the joints where the hips would be. That's the one thing that strikes me as odd. The dolls are so realistic and yet that's the one flaw that draws away from their human look is the joint. Okay, he can bend backwards pretty good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To the older ladies in your group. Yeah, that's better. He can bend backwards pretty good. Better than I can. Oh, that noise. He still needs some suading still. And um, my friend Josh can tell me how to do that. And I'm just so excited, yay. Um, I need a hot glue gun though. You're not hot gluing anything. That's how you suede them. Well, it's a good thing I don't own one. Because I remember the last time we did that, you made a huge mess. And burned me and yourself and your mom. With the hot glue gun at yeah. Christmas. Actually, he is extremely tight. I might have to loosen him up and then tighten his arms. I'm going to have to edit the crap out of this video. I did not say a single thing. Steven is just harassing me and I'm being a very well-mannered cameraman. He just has a bad choice in words. But yeah. <laughs> this is Lee. He's finally home to stay. Mm -hmm. And um And he's eyeballing the sin out of me. And hopefully when I get his eyes and his wig and his clothes and everything, I'll put some pictures up. And um then I will start saving up my money again. And hopefully get his boyfriend. But mm. um thanks everybody for watching this. Oh don't give me any thanks. And thanks to Justin uh -huh. for being my cameraman. The unseen cameraman. His time out from his busy schedule to help me. Bye. Press the button again. Oops. Really? I don't even get to be in it? If you want to. Well, fine. Just for a split second. Okay. Fine. Even though I look like a redneck. <laughs> Hurry up. We're wasting time. Just turn Hold it on. Y'all get to see my, my baby. You had to call it up. That's my baby. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> Say bye. No. Say bye. No. Say bye. That'd be the same. Close enough. <laughs> bye.